Imagine pedaling a bike uphill. You're putting in a lot of effort, but you feel like some of that energy isn't getting you as far as it should. That's because mechanical systems, whether it's a bike, a car, or even a wind turbine, aren't perfect. Energy often gets dissipated or lost as it moves through the system. But here's the good news. With the right technology, we can minimize those losses and make mechanical systems more efficient. First, let's talk about where energy goes in a mechanical system. One of the biggest culprits is friction. Friction happens when two surfaces rub against each other, converting some of the system's energy into heat. Think about a car engine. As its moving parts grind together, they generate heat, which doesn't help move the car forward. It's wasted energy. Friction also affects everyday tools, like scissors or wheels on a skateboard, making them harder to use over time. Another way energy dissipates is through air resistance. When you ride a bike or drive a car, you're constantly pushing against air molecules. This drag slows you down and takes extra energy to overcome. For faster systems like airplanes or high-speed trains, air resistance becomes a huge factor in energy loss. Vibration is another sneaky energy thief. When parts of a machine vibrate, they use energy that could otherwise go toward the system's main purpose. For example, in an old washing machine, excessive vibration wastes energy and makes the machine less efficient. So, how do we fight back against these energy losses? Let's look at some technological innovations that make mechanical systems more efficient. To reduce friction, engineers often use lubricants like oil or grease. These create a slippery layer between moving parts, cutting down on the heat generated. Another solution is using ball bearings, small metal spheres that let parts roll instead of slide, significantly reducing friction in systems like bicycle wheels or car engines. Aerodynamics helps tackle air resistance. Cars, trains, and planes are now designed with sleek, streamlined shapes that let air flow smoothly around them, cutting down on drag. Even cyclists wear tight-fitting clothing and ride specially designed bikes to reduce air resistance. To control vibration, machines are now built with dampers or shock absorbers. These components absorb unwanted energy from vibrations, keeping the system stable and efficient. For example, modern washing machines have built-in vibration control systems that not only save energy, but also make the machine quieter. Material science has also played a huge role in efficiency. Lightweight materials like carbon fiber and aluminum are used to reduce the energy needed to move objects, from airplanes to bicycles. Stronger materials also mean parts last longer, cutting down on waste and maintenance. Regenerative systems are another innovation. In hybrid and electric cars, regenerative braking captures energy that would normally be lost as heat when braking and uses it to recharge the battery. This makes the system far more efficient by reusing energy instead of wasting it. Mechanical systems will never be perfect, but by understanding where energy is lost and using innovations to reduce those losses, we can make them work better, last longer, and use less energy. Whether it's adding a drop of oil to a squeaky hinge or designing a bullet train to slice through the air, every improvement brings us closer to efficiency.